Hey, aloha. Welcome to Koa Studio. So I recently uh, shipped out one of my favorite pieces, which is kind of how most of my work goes. So a lot of what I make is custom order. Um, clients will contact me and I make a style of piece and ship it out. But some of the stuff I make is more personal. Um, I don't have someone specifically ready for it, but I do eventually post it up for sale on my website. And one of those pieces went out the door. Uh, and so I was thinking about that piece and it's one of my favorites, but it's not my only favorite. I have a few others. And so I thought maybe this week it would be kind of fun to demo some of my favorite pieces and kind of explain them and what I like about them, uh, why I made them, why I used the different design and features that went into them. Uh, and then you can, you can take a look at it. Uh, the pieces that I'm going to be showing today, uh, none of them are available for purchase. But if you are interested in my work, you can follow me on Instagram at Koa Studio. And you can also follow me uh, or check out my website, koastudio.net. And from there, you can uh, see what's available. Well, shoots, let's get into it. So this first piece is a short spear. It's about, oh, four and a half feet just over four feet, maybe close to five. Uh, I'm six feet, so come to here. So maybe four and a half. Uh, a short spear in Hawaiian is ihe, and this is a marlin tip spear. And so the tip of this spear, make sure that focuses. This is a marlin bill, like the blue marlin bills that you would see in the ocean. And then I have lash to it these tiger shark teeth as barbs and then it has a feather tassel a wrap for grip so you can hold it uh, this is a pretty standard style piece um, there's not too much unique about this this is more of a traditional style piece the feathers in this instance I guess might contribute to flight but they're more for bleeding the blood. So if you stab, the blood bleeds off the feathers and doesn't come on to the rest of the piece. Uh, obviously, it is a short spear, so they could definitely throw it. I have read records that it was not uncommon to do an underhand throw with the ihe. The long spear in Hawaii is massive. It's a uh, 14 feet obviously there's different sizes but 12 to 14 feet the short spears are usually four to six feet uh, so depending I guess on what you consider short <laughs> uh, but I love this piece this piece is definitely one of my favorites it's a nice piece the uh, Mar Marlin bill is a beautiful bill absolutely gorgeous so this is one of my favorite pieces uh, I've made quite a few spears but this is this one's mine <laughs> This is a gunstock war club style piece. Obviously is super different than what you would see on regular indigenous America, native uh, North American gunstock war clubs designs. Uh, but I wanted to introduce some of my own styling onto the piece. And so on this edge of the blade, I have bull shark teeth and this is deer antler. Uh, white tail deer antler. I got these actually as a gift and so I shaped them and, and inset them into the piece. Uh, they are glued and pegged in place so you can see those pegs. And then the shark teeth are lashed in place. And this is actually a beautiful piece of curly koa. I don't know how well you can see that. Hopefully you can. Absolutely gorgeous. And then I have inset two abalone pearl dots which hopefully you can see that color beautiful piece but i love this piece it's a sweet piece i have tested with it uh the video that i made this on if you go check that video out uh, i do test it at the end i think um and these definitely stab in Pretty cool piece, I really love it. It's just a combination. 
of Native American and Hawaiian style uh, clubs and woodworking. And so I really love the way that this turned out. Man, I hope you can see it in the video. But that is just an absolutely gorgeous curl that's on the blade. Man, that looks awesome. So these two are the same style of piece, um, or rather the same style of weapon, just two different designs. Uh, they are the Samoan Nifooti, which is a kind of like a cane knife. Uh, let's look at this one first. Now this one has a flat blade with an absolutely beautiful grain. Man, it's gorgeous. And then it has, so this comes to an edge, and then this is a hook. And you can see it's elongated. So this whole piece is probably a good three feet or almost. Uh, and it's styled more off of the fire knife. So the Samoan fire knife is done with the Nifooti. Uh, but that's what this one is designed after. Now normally the flat bladed ones like these would actually be made of metal uh, rather than wood. Although there are some I, I found in uh, some archive images, older ones. And then this one, it's actually a lot smaller of a piece. It's only about two feet, maybe a little bit more, 24 inch, or 26 inches. Um, also a very beautiful curl. You can see the, the all, of the, all of these that I'm doing, the, all the same Hawaiian coal wood. But you can see, or hopefully you can see, the curl on that, absolutely gorgeous. So on this, I have uh, inlay, two mother of pearl dots, one at the handle, or rather two, one on each side, and then up at the top. And then on this one, I have carved into it teeth. So for wooden uh, nifootis, these this is more common to have the teeth carved into it. And then I have a wrap on the handle so I, I had wanted for a long time to do this style of carve, which I had never done before. So this was the first one that I had ever attempted to do this style of teeth on. And that was a challenge. It took so long, days, days to, to carve in all these teeth, to clean them up, to make them look nice. And looking at it now, there's, there's still stuff on it that I would have done different uh, or would like to have done different, but it was a ton of fun. I enjoyed making this piece. This is one of my favorites by far. Uh, turned out so much better than I thought it was going to. <laughs> still doesn't turn out as well as I would like it, but it's still a pretty gnarly piece. I, I tested with this one just a little bit, not a lot, because I didn't want to risk damaging the teeth. Uh, but these teeth are pretty nasty like that. It hurts. So this little guy here, this is a style or design from Papua New Guinea. It's a Papua New Guinea knife. It's a little bit different from uh, a lot of the archive images. For example, the way that I carved in the wooden section of the teeth is a little different. It's a little bit more exaggerated on the archive images that I found. But I wanted to have space to put in all of these inlay dots. So I have three inlay mother of pearl dots on both sides and then bull shark teeth lashed along the handle and then the handle wrap and it has a flat handle wrap. The design here was to match the uh, Papua New Guinea knife. Uh, this piece was pretty cool. I actually really enjoyed it. The, the Papua New Guinea one, the teeth are a little bit closer together and so it's better for a, a cutting action. These ones are kind of far apart, so it's almost less of cutting and more just almost, you know, like a, a club that you that has shark teeth on it. <laughs> cool little piece. I probably won't make another one like this. Uh, just the styling is quite a bit different from the majority of the work that I do. I like to branch out and try different styles. And if I like that style, I oftentimes will start to introduce that into my work. But if you never branch out, you'll never find other stuff you like. Now this piece, 
<laughs> oh, I love this piece. Ah. So this is a Hawaiian leomano. Uh, this is based off of an archive image, and I actually I made this one specifically to reflect the archive image. So there's very little of my styling in this piece. It very much reflects what's in that archive. And so in the archive, it's it's I would argue it's more of a modern piece, um, late 1800s, uh, maybe middle 1800s. And the reason why is because on the actual piece, the teeth are pegged in the place just like this, but they're brass pegs just like this. So that's what these are. These are brass pegs, not wooden pegs. And on the archive piece, it was also brass pegs. Um, they wouldn't have had brass pegging or they wouldn't have the brass to peg it until after they started trade uh, with the Western ships and Portuguese ships and so it would have been sometime after that trade started that they could have made something like this but the archive one as well also has inlay pearl these diamonds I don't know if it's on both sides I did it on both sides whether or not the the original one is I'm not sure but the pegging, these are difficult to replace, the brass pegs, the inlays. And so this was probably a gift or ceremonial piece that was originally made. Now, you definitely could still use it. So a uh, Leomano traditionally is more of a slashing weapon. Um, you could definitely still use this, but most likely this is ceremonial just based off of everything that went into it. Now the last piece is probably my biggest piece right now. <laughs> this is probably close to three feet. Uh, the wood here is probably about four inches down here maybe four and a half inches to five inches up at the top each one of these stick out protrude about an inch and a half close to two inches so it's wide like this is a beast of a piece and it's heavy so this is the design for this piece is based off of the mayan macuaro macuatil i don't know i can't pronounce that <laughs> so i apologize for everyone I'm definitely pronouncing that one wrong. Uh, I call it a macuato or macuato, but I, I'm sure that's wrong. Anyway, so the, whole, the design is based off of that. But I wanted to mix some of the Hawaiian influences that I that I do into it. And so the bottom section, this is obsidian. It was chipped obsidian. Super sharp. The top side, though. These are megalodon fossils, actual megalodon fossils. And they are a beast of a fossil. I mean, look at my hand, that's crazy. Massive. And then going down the center of both, I have a Nihumano pattern. These are mother of pearl, mother of pearl triangle inlay. Uh, when put in this shape, that's the Nihomaro pattern, um, the triangle shape in Hawaii also represents teeth. And so this pattern represents strength and lineage um, and, and courage and a few other items depending on the orientation. And then design wise, I did a texture design up top that goes into the smooth pattern down here and then it's burned down at the bottom. So this is actually burned koa. And then obviously lashed at the handle. This is a heavy piece. I mean, heavy. I don't... Oh, holding this straight out. Oh, that's hard to do. <laughs> uh, I've wanted to, I have a couple re uh, replacement for these. Uh, not many, but I have a couple. I've thought about maybe doing some more testing with this 
uh, but I'm nervous. So let me know in the comments below if you think I should test with this. I tested it a little bit with some ballistics gel, just like a block. Um, and it, you know, it, it would cut in to here and then kind of bounce out because the edges along the side. But I wanted to test it on, you know, like a more, like the, the analog, the ballistic analog, uh, just so I can, you know, whack it with the teeth and do all kinds of stuff with it. But I'm, I'm kind of worried I'm going to break it. As cool as the Megalodon fossils are, they are fossils, so they can be brittle. And so you have to be a little careful with them. Now these are pretty solid. And these are thick, solid pieces. And so they're kind of like stone. So they'll probably be okay. But it would be unfortunate if they broke. <laughs> but this is definitely, I think, the top of my list. I love this piece. This piece is awesome. Just a beast of a piece. Uh, I do have one more uh, Makwaro that I've made. Uh, it's a little bit different. Actually, I'll go grab that real quick so you can kind of see the differences between this one and that one. So this is the other one, and I'll compare them here in a minute so you can see the size difference. Still a massive piece. Uh, this one doesn't use obsidian. Instead, it's small. These are the, the darker teeth are megalodon fossils, but they're small fossils. So they're not large. The top two are pretty big, but the rest of them are fairly small. And then the teeth in between are bull shark, modern bull shark. And then I have the same Nihu model pattern, but this one does an alternating abalone mother of pearl, and it's on both sides. I do love the two-tone koa on this. This is also koa wood, all of them are. But you can see how there's this really light koa, and then this dark, so it's a two-tone piece absolutely gorgeous i love the way that looks uh what makes that two-tone color is this is edge wood and this is heartwood so the edge wood is wood that's close to the edge of the tree close to the bark and this is the inner sections of the tree um, and so that's where you get that contrast the the two-tone between those the lighter and, and darker um, and then on the bottom i have inlay wood pegs just for a contrast as well. And then the whole handle's lashed. Uh, I love this piece too. This one was actually a commission piece and the client uh, ran away, disappeared. <laughs> so I kept it uh, and it was an expensive piece to make. It was kind of unfortunate for me, but I love it. So I'm secretly happy I gotta keep it because it's an awesome piece. <laughs> but let me show you real quick the size differences between these two. Oh, so they're about the same height. So you can kind of see that they're the same height, but this one is just so much wider. And the teeth, look at the size difference in those teeth. That's insane. Let me see if I can get you a better view of that. Look at that. That is crazy. Those are just massive teeth. And the body is just wide. So this is a beast of a piece. This is still a beast of a piece, but a little bit small. Next to that one, it looks like a baby. <laughs> uh, oh, but it feels good. This one has a good balance. It feels good in the hand. Well, thank you for watching. Uh, I have uh, some cool projects still coming up. I have, I have always projects that I'm working on. Um, so the next video for the next piece will probably be in maybe a week or two. Uh, I'm working on that now. I'm super excited about it. It's, uh, it's actually a piece that came in as a request. So definitely leave me suggestions, requests, uh, depending on you know timing and whatnot. I'll be able to work on them. Uh, this was one that I haven't made yet, which is why I was so interested in it. Um, it is from the Polynesian Islands. It's going to be a surprise. I'm not going to tell you what it is. <laughs> but leave me in the comments below uh, of the pieces that you saw today which one was your favorite which one did you like the best which one did you like the least um, is there anything or if you had any questions on them uh, if you like this style of video let me know I can make some more otherwise you know I'll get back to my regular making stuff videos but mahalo nui for everyone that follows along I appreciate it greatly it was a lot of fun and I'll see you next time